Read the paper lately? Everybody's gone insane. We decided to join in and rate the relative insanity out there in the news. Time for Top That, where we decide which is the craziest story of the night slash week. Our panelists tonight, Gabby Morangiello, D.C. Bureau Chief for the New York Post, America's Greatest Newspaper, and Carrie Lucas of the Independent Women's Forum. Great to see you both. Gabby, you first. All right, so if you were watching The View this morning, you saw and the of course I was. <laughs> uh, liberal comedian Wanda Sykes weighed in on why Republicans have chosen to dismantle Obamacare. Let's take a listen. They're just trying to erase anything that President Obama did. I bet, I bet you they want to act like that man never existed, like it never happened. I bet you Mitch McConnell is on the phone with David Copperfield right now. Uh, what else you got? I, I, I want to make him disappear. How can we make him disappear? Why? Do you think that is? It's racism. Yeah. That's it. They the hate having a black president, and they want to get rid of it. That's what it is. Well, yeah. Uh, so if you're against Obamacare, you're a bigot? Right. It's racism, apparently. I mean, I'd like to ask her what she thinks um, President Trump's decision to allow DACA to continue then is, because he's obviously kept in place a number of uh, policies and legislation from the Obama era that he had originally said he wouldn't. Um, so if this is racism, I mean, what are those? Is that, is that a good thing? Is she able to admit that as a liberal comedian? Or is every single thing that this administration and this Republican-controlled Congress does rooted in racism and bigotry? Well, sure, and Obamacare was passed by an overwhelmingly white Democratic majority in the Congress. So, like, what does that mean? Huh, that's pretty nuts. Carrie, okay, can you talk about Yeah, that? well, let's see. Um, I don't know if you're a Star Wars fan, Tucker, but I, you guys may know that yesterday was a very important day um, for Star Wars fans and that it was May 4th or May the 4th be with you, and people are encouraged <laughs> to go ahead and dress up as their favorite uh, Star Wars character. So some kid in Wisconsin, Green Bay, Wisconsin, shows up in a Darth Vader outfit, and a parent sees him and instantly calls the cops. There's a lockdown not just at his school, but the next school, until the situation was, quote, resolved. Because and he had a lightsaber? No, he didn't have a lightsaber. He was just dressed in a scare uniform. And the thing that, you know, I just think it's a kind of sad commentary, that instead of talking to the kid, asking him what he was doing, making sure that he wasn't a, uh, you know, wasn't planning to shoot up the school, that the instant reaction was to call the cops. So The suburbs of Green Bay, which are beautiful and filled <laughs> sure. with nice people, pretty safe part of the country. Yeah, yeah. So I guess the cops may have, had, the, you know, the good news is that the cops said that they looked into it and, you know, there's no charges being pressed. They're recognizing it was probably just an innocent mistake. But man, you know, you wish you could. So it wasn't just they thought the kid was weird, but they thought he was a threat. Yeah, they thought he was a threat. They thought this could be something going on. So it was two schools that locked down as a result. So. Depressing. <laughs> both, both are pretty bizarre. Yeah. Yours makes me a little sadder, though, That's because true. Wanda Sykes used to be a comedian and a really talented one, and she's gone completely off the deep end with this Trump stuff, and mm -hmm. it's just distorted her so completely that she's become someone who's screaming at you on the subway. Right, and she's not listening to her fans either. I mean, she was shouted down after insulting the president at a show recently. Um, oh, it depresses me. <laughs> so you win, you get the participation right. trophy. In 2017, <laughs> everybody gets a trophy, right, especially you, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you.